This is God's Feeding Station. Welcome to our daily prayer broadcast. I'm Pastor Doug White in the studio, currently going through a uh, series through the book of Psalms. For those of you that have been following along, you probably know this this podcast is Psalm 13, uh, and we're going chronologically. That meant the last one was 12. The next one will be 14. So for those of you that um, are regularly zeroed in on this podcast, uh, please uh, read your Bibles along with us in this time of prayer as we assemble as prayer warriors around the globe, or or you can read it afterward. But I'm going to read quickly into this broadcast, uh, Psalm 13. Uh, It's a short one. I'd like you to just listen and ask the Holy Spirit to open up your ears and your minds and your heart, and then together in one accord, we'll pray. So verse 1, how long, Lord, will you forget me forever? How long will you hide your face from me? How long must I wrestle with my thoughts? And day after day have sorrow in my heart. How long will my enemy triumph over me? Look on me and answer, Lord my God. Give light to my eyes, or I will sleep in death. And my enemy will say, I have overcome him. And my foes will rejoice when I fall. But I trust in your unfailing love. My heart rejoices in your salvation. I will sing the Lord's praise, for he has been good to me, end quote. Let's pray. God, sometimes we cry out over and over, how long? Oh, how long, Lord? How long will it seem like the wickedness has overtaken what is holy and true and right? How long will it be when we have so many misguided people that are more focused on science and finite things than they are on you, the infinite holy God, and then instead of getting the guidance from you that's all-knowing and true, it feels like, how long, Lord? How long will we struggle in these realities? Sometimes, God, we wrestle in our thoughts, and we're like, how long is this going to take? Or why is my heart filled with this anguish that's upon me? Why does it appear from a human perspective that the enemy's always winning? Why, God, does it seem like it's easier to be, believe a lie than to believe the truth? But God... We're calling out, we're praying, and you're asking us. Throughout the Bible, you remind us how important it is that we call out to you, that we pray to you, that we petition to you. If we need wisdom, we seek it, we ask, and you give it to us. So we're asking now, give light to our eyes. We don't want to be sound asleep in death. So God, we make an appeal to you. Deliverance from death. Restore us from the fallen nature. Give us this confidence in our hearts and our minds and our thoughts and to know and to live and to trust in your unfailing love. May our hearts rejoice. May we grow in our trust, God, of you and your unfailing, unbreakable, nonstop love. May our hearts be pumping with joy and worship and praise in the reality of the salvation, even though sometimes we're working it out in fear. We're working it out and trembling. We're asking how long, but we will sing. Empower us by your spirit, Father God, to sing praises unto you in your holy name. And that to always remember, no matter the circumstance, that not only have you been good to us, but you are good to us, for you are good. It's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen.